Welcome to the Myrtle Beach Art Museum's Library After School Program. This workshop is called Best of Boat Worlds and is inspired by the American Society of Marine Artists 18th National Exhibition, curated by Liz Miller and on exhibit through April 17th. The American Society of Marine Artists, founded in 1978, is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the promotion of marine art and maritime history. Featuring 110 paintings, drawings, and sculptures representing the very best in marine art, this highly sought after exhibition is touring museums throughout the United States, and the Art Museum is proud to be one of those venues. Marine art is a genre that portrays or draws its main inspiration from the sea. Marine art depicts maritime activities such as sailing or fishing, inshore and harbor scenes, ship portraits, waterscapes, and marine wildlife. Ahoy, mateys! Now it's time for an art project. These are the materials you will need. Art kit materials, which include two pieces of 6 by 6 inch watercolor paper, two pieces of 6 by 9 inch white construction paper, two craft sticks. Additional materials include liquid glue or glue stick, colored pencils, crayons, or markers. For our art project, I'm going to show you how to create two different types of origami sailboats. We're gonna start with this one first. The first step is to take one of your six by six inch square pieces of watercolor paper and fold it corner to corner, like this. Make sure you really press down on that crease. Now we're gonna make the hull of the boat. So turn the paper so that the crease is on the top, right there. Next, take the bottom and fold it on a diagonal. So you can see that the part on the left is larger than the part on the right. So now we've created the hull of our boat. Unfold it and then refold it the opposite direction. And press on that crease again. Now unfold it, open it, and press it out like this and then refold it so now your boat can actually stand on its own but we're going to glue it right there so it stays closed and we're going to attach a popsicle stick now Take your liquid glue or glue stick and apply glue to about one inch at the top of your popsicle stick on both sides. Then you can put it in between the folds of your sailboat. You can also apply a little bit at the end of your boat as well. Now you can either press down on this until it's dry or you can place a heavy book on top and that will keep it in the right position until it dries. Now we're going to make this sailboat. This one starts off the same way as the first one. 
The first fold is to fold it in half, corner to corner, like this. Again, make sure you really press along the seam. Open it up, and now fold it in half from the bottom to the top. So we're folding the square into a rectangle. Press that crease, open it up again, turn it, and fold it again in half, forming another rectangle. Now open it up again and you can see that faint line of our diagonal fold. We're going to turn the paper so that diagonal fold is running from the top left corner to the bottom right. Now we're going to fold the bottom left corner into the middle until that edge meets the middle. Now we're going to do the same on the opposite side. So now our paper looks like this. Now we're going to fold it in half. So now it looks like this. Now we're going to kind of open it a little bit and you're going to push in one side. It's almost like closing a cardboard milk carton. And you can kind of press along the crease of your sail. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you just press it in. Now we have two sails, but we want to make one of them shorter than the other. So we're going to choose which one we want to be shorter. We're going to fold it until it meets the bottom of the boat. And then we're going to fold it back up, but not all the way. We're going to leave a little bit of space. So now you see how it's shorter than the other sail. We're going to press on that fold and we're going to tuck it into your boat. Just like that. It's like a little pocket. Now we're going to turn it over and we're going to fold the bottom of the boat where it makes a triangle. We're going to fold it all the way to the top of your hull. We're going to press it. Really press that crease pretty well. And this actually creates a little stand for our boat so that this boat will actually be able to stand on its own. Just like that. If you want to add a popsicle stick to the boat that you just made, you can glue that fold, the stand, to the back of the boat and then glue the popsicle stick on the back of that. But I'm going to keep it so that it stands on its own. So now you get to use whatever materials you want and have at home to decorate your boats. So you can use markers, colored pencils, and since this is watercolor paper, you can even use watercolor paint if you have it. Next, you can take your two pieces of 6 by 9 inch construction paper and create backgrounds for your boats. So you could do a sky with clouds or a sunset or perhaps a stormy sky, anything you'd like to create a backdrop for your boats.
Also, if you take an image or video of your boat in front of a blue or green piece of paper or background, you can explore green screen effects that are available in most free video editing software such as iMovie. It's super fun. We would love to see your creations. You can share them with us on Instagram or Facebook, either by tagging us or using the hashtag MBArtMuseum. Thank you to our generous sponsors and supporters. Thank you to our library partners, 